of a road the beginning of God only knows where I'm going now but I'm ready now to risk it all fly or fall I'm all in cause it feels more right than any night I've ever what a what a dream come true this is it, 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 it this is a this is a, it really is a dream come true um, to be able to be a part uh, of, of, of this community. And for me, the journey that I've been on, it's just, uh, it's just amazing because when I, uh, when I got involved in industries back in, 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 in 1996, I was, uh, a lot of you guys know my stories, I, uh, I was working at a go-kart track and um, I used to push, uh, used to stand there on a sign that said, uh, I used to stand on a go-kart track with a sign that said no bumping. And I used to hold the sign up and then wear like an orange vest and a little pink hat. And I had like, that was where I came from before I got involved in this industry. It's like I meet so many people in this, this, this room that are so sharp. They're like, you know, amazing coming to secret already with, with you know, such an amazing background in, in the corporate world and in, in business. And for me, I never, uh, never had a background in, in business. I worked at a go-kart track, and when I was, a, when I was uh, growing up as a kid, it was, I never thought that I'd become wealthy, you know? Um, this has been a dream come true, because growing up as a kid, <clears throat> my, my dad ran away from home when I was like seven years old, and um, I didn't see him, and my mom had no source of income, so we grew up on welfare and government programs, and when we moved to California, I was, uh, so about 12 years old, we moved from Indiana to California, and I, we lived in the back of a, a car. We were homeless, and my mom's like, we gotta get you enrolled in school, because if you know, Child Protective Services finds out that you, you don't have a home, you might be taken away. <laughs> so whenever I got involved in, 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 in this industry, I, growing up the way that I did, I never thought you know, that I'd be wealthy. You know, growing up so poor, it was like, you know, mainly growing up in Southern California, no one wants to hang out with the, bro the, the, the homeless kid. <laughs> no, no, growing up in California, no one's like, dude, the homeless guy's really cool. Have you guys met this guy yet? <laughs> the new homeless kid that just joined our school is awesome. You know, like, no one wanted to hang out with you, you know? Like, it, 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 was, it was, like, really embarrassing. So I got involved in this industry when I was in high school, and I came to an event, and I said, hey, you know what? This seems like a good idea make a lot of money, these people are gonna help me. And I didn't know about what I know now. You know, I learned in this business, I, I, I learned the hard way. Because um, it's been a tough road for me in this industry over the last 18 years. And even though we've been blessed to make a, a lot of money in this industry, there's been, a, there's, there's different sides of this business that I didn't, you know, it, for, for me it was like, man, you know, there's so many, people that are out there that, that will say one thing and do something different. A lot of people out there that don't really have integrity. And when you're a kid, 17 years old, getting involved in this industry, you don't really know much. You know, and people say, oh, you know, I was naive. I was about as naive as it got. I was 17 years old. I didn't even graduate high school. So when I got involved in this industry, I was so scared. You know, I was so nervous. I was so doubtful. And I can remember coming to events like this and sitting in the back and really thinking, is this ever going to happen for me? You know, is this ever going to... Am I ever going to be able to figure out how to do this? So it's been, a, it's been, a, it's been an interesting journey, you know, and, and I just wanted to kind of share with you guys a little bit about, you know, the things, some of these challenges, because a lot of you that are getting started, mainly for you, this, this is the first time you've ever been in this industry. You guys are lucky to find secret, because the, when I say, like, there's nothing out there like this, you, you got to realize it. You might hear that, and since you don't have the experience to back it up, you don't know what I'm talking about. But it's, it's, been, an, it's been an interesting journey. And over the last 16, now 18 years, I got, now it's been, it's, been, it's been a rough road. You know, it, meeting owners and, that, would, that would tell me one thing and completely do the exact opposite. And it was like, these people would like, because I, I, I work real hard, and these people would like put saddles on my back and just ride me around and just make as much as I can. And then it was just, they would make as much as they could for me and then it would be like, you know, and it was just, just mean people. 
And I kind of started to get, so I, I didn't even like the industry anymore of network marketing. I, 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 I couldn't even stand it actually. Because I felt like it's like, man, I get in front of a room of people and I get everybody fired up to come want to do what I'm doing. But it's like I felt like I was like renting a room. I have a room for rent, but the house is on fire. And I'm like, I just don't even feel good about what I'm doing anymore. And that was about the time that um, Hayden and Betty were calling me. And they call me every day. Like, I'm like, God dang. <laughs> and I'm always, <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up? And they just kept calling me. And I just, I'm like, why do I, God dang it, I wish this guy would stop calling me. <laughs> and they were, they were telling me about this company secret. And they were, you know, they were telling me about it like six months before that when they were thinking about doing it. And I'm like, man, you guys are wasting your time. Like, what are you guys doing? I'm thinking, I don't know anything about, I don't know anything about makeup. You know, I didn't even know, <laughs> I thought we were doing makeup. I'm like, I don't know anything about makeup, bro. I know that lipstick tastes good, but that's about it, right? <laughs> so, so I'm like, I don't even wanna hear about like what you're doing, like, so not even, I'm not even interested. And they kept calling me and calling me, and I'm like, All right, you know, what can I do to help you guys? I'll help you guys, you're my friends, I wanna make sure you succeed, but I don't wanna be a part of a makeup company. Throw out skincare, and they kept going on and on, and they were so fired up. I go, I'll take a look at it, okay? I'll, I'll fly out there and meet these, these unbelievable people that they kept telling me about. And when I, I remember when I came out and I met Robert for the first time, <laughs> like where he sat down in his office and he's like talking about, <laughs> first thing he said is like, we wanna buy our own island. And I'm like, my name's Tim, you know? It's like, like this guy's got some big vision, right? <laughs> And they're like, oh man, you, you know, you, and then, you know, they're like, you gotta meet Isaac, you gotta meet Isaac, you gotta meet Isaac. And I'm like, oh my God, you know? So they, Isaac happened to be in, in Canada at the time. So then they, he flew in and met with me in Orange County uh, when I got home that next day. And when I, I was meeting Isaac and I met Robert, I didn't get a chance to meet Moti yet, but uh, he, was in, he was in another country. But when I got a chance to sit down with him, I said, that it's, it's hard to believe that there's people that are, that, are, that, that, that are this honest. Because it's like, for me, for going, like having the battle scars that I did of being, I mean, it was the things that I've been through in this industry, I mean, it's been ridiculous. I honestly to, was to the point where I hated the industry. All I want to do is make money. You know, John talks about people that, you know, they, they, they just, just want to make money, just want to make money, just want to make money. And it was like, that, when he, that was how I was. It's amazing how associations can change your life, how aligning yourself with the right people can change your life so much. You know, because, you know, it's amazing, man. And it's, and you guys, I, I, I seriously did not even, to me it was just making money. That was what network marketing was. And when I bought into it back 18 years ago, that wasn't what I bought into. I bought into, you know, that, that, that you, you know, you win by helping people and that everybody loves one another. And, all, and that I heard all these things and then I experienced completely something different. And then when I met Isaac, I said, is this true? And I'm meeting him, I'm like, whoa, this is, this is, this is, what is this? It's different, I'm not used to this. I'm like, you know, I come in with my guard up and, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm about to get hit and he's trying to give me a hug. You know, I was like, what the heck? You know, like a, like a, be, like a battered, battered kid or something, or a beaten kid or something, you know? I was like, <laughs> kick, kick dog or something. So, you know, <laughs> but when I got involved in secret, I, I, I said, I, call, I was calling Betty and Hayden like every day going, are you, is this, are they really this honest? Like, honestly, are they this honest? Because I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't even believe it. Like, I'm like, there's no way that there's people like that. And they're like, D dude, it, it's real, it's real. And I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be too easy for me. Cause all I gotta do now is bring people to meet Isaac. Do you guys get that? <laughs> people ask me like, man, you know, how did you guys do it? I got the easiest job there is. I've been doing network marketing for 18 years. I, all I know is network marketers. And I just introduce network marketers to Isaac and they go,
whoa, we never seen anything like that. I didn't even know people like that existed, let alone running a network marketing company. So you guys, I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, you, you're, you're gonna meet people in this industry, guys, that are, you're, you're, oh my God, this guy's a great network marketer, and you'll hear people, but a lot of times, they're, those people that are like that, a lot of them are like who I used to be. They don't really care about building a business, they just care about getting a check. And I can tell you guys, I was the worst at it. I was like, I, when I got involved in Secret, I, used, I, was, I felt like I was a pirate looking back at it. You guys know what a pirate is? I was like a network marketing pirate. I was just wanted to make as much as I could as fast as I could. And then when I met Isaac and I started associating with Isaac, you, you just get around the Ben Shabbat family and you get around, you get around this company and you just start to change. It's like, an, it, it's the power of associations. My mentor told me when I got involved in the industry, he said, there's three things about association. He goes, first thing you have to do is you have to look at the people that you're around and ask yourself, you know, what do they got me doing? What do they got me, you know, becoming? What, what, what the people that I'm around? And he said, you have to ask yourself, is it okay? Is it okay? And I realized that it was like, you know, the people that I was around in this industry, it was, you know, it was, it, it, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't good, you know? And when I got a chance to meet Isaac, I knew that I had to get around him. And it didn't make a difference what he was doing. Like, it didn't make a difference if, well, I mean, I, I love secret products and everything, but it was like, if we were selling, you know, if we were selling carpet, I would be like, hey, let's do it. You know, whatever we're doing, I mean, whatever you're doing, I want to do it because I want to be around you because I'm the type of person I like to get around good people and follow leaders. And I'm telling you guys, there's not a better leader in the industry of this, in, you know, and I'm just letting you guys know so you can be informed that you guys are a part of something special. But, you know, I'll share with you guys this about association. I'm going to jump into my training, but, you know, you, you look at the people that you're around. When you go home, some of you guys are going to go back to markets, and some of you guys, you know, you have a lot of problems at home, and you got challenges at home. And when you come to this environment, you know, you're fired up and you're excited, but your challenges are going to be waiting for you when you get home. And you got to go back with a sense of confidence and, and knowing that, all the challenges or obstacles that you have that are going on in your life, that guess what, it's time for us to step up and, and, and overcome them.